what's up i'm back in the house from running my errands i don't think i talked before that it is friday march 1st and yeah i got done with work it was a busy week so i felt the need to go out and get things to pamper myself and make myself feel good so i went to my laser appointment and then i went shopping i didn't get much and it's a little late and I haven't had dinner, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got tomorrow. I told you guys yesterday that I picked up some things from the store and I wanted to do a haul. I also got two things in the mail today um, during the race that I will show you guys. And it's just a little something, not much. Um, I'm just gonna take it out in order of the bag, so. Loops, which I used to just get the doctor chart face mask but I like these and you can get them in a three day uh three pack from Urban Outfitters since I stopped in there I was like okay might as well pick it up then the next thing I got I think this is from Brandy no this is from Urban as well and it's this and you can't really tell white mini sort of like um I don't know how to describe the style but it's knit um ribbed very cottage core like and it's to wear in the house not to wear outside and then also from urban just this clay style mug with a little mushroom i thought it was so cute and i am starting a collection of cute mugs because i don't have many i really have like clear and black because it was very modern in here but i want it to be eclectic so i picked up this I'm gonna make some tea in it after I'm done. The next thing I got from Urban is this bralette, which is really cute, um, sort of like sport-like bralette. The back looks like this, uh, and it's nice. I got it in a medium, but though I'm like, should I have gotten a large? We'll see. And then I went to Brandy Melville. Obviously, I said that earlier. And these, I just hate that they only have one size, but at this point they've been around for so long and they don't give a fuck about plus size women, clearly. So, um, not that I'm plus size, but they don't have anything larger than a small in that store. But these I got um, because they're stretchy and I wanted some more lounge clothes to wear in the house that were cute. It could double as going out pants if I wanted to wear something casual but because they're like linen-esque material it doesn't really tell you um the material either unless the tag is somewhere in the leg so I got these you can't really tell but they're flare like and I got two tops one to kind of go with that but also just serve as a little 90s style tank um this one and then i got this because i was not expecting to find something like this in brandy for it to be one size i feel like it will look good on me i love the little pockets here it could look cute with some jeans that's how i envision wearing it next the most exciting thing which i am going to open the box down here so you don't see my dress but i got some shoes Oh, I ordered them from Farfetch, but they always come from Stadium Goods. Uh, I'm so worried they're gonna be too small for me, but I got a sock like a, a 4.5 in men's in my combos, and they were, I feel like I could have went a half size down, so I got a half size down in these bad boys. Oh, they're so cute. Um, and you guys know that yellow is in this year, although I feel like it's more of a butter yellow but i didn't want butter yellow shoes so i got these <laughs> they so cute okay let's try these on and see if they fit actually let's see if i can show you guys all right peeps i'm getting ready to leave the house and go to the movies i'm going to see dune too i'm very excited um but i wanted to quickly show you guys the outfit of the day it's very simple and comfy but still kind of cute I am pairing my trusty Amazon knit dress that I've gotten 
so much wear out of um, in the summer and the winter and the fall it's just like the gift that she keeps on giving um my sardine wine color bag i'm pairing them with my adidas sambas which i showed you guys in the haul no they're not sambas they're gazelles i need to remember that anyway and it ties in really nicely with the purse and then i want to throw on my shades um which i wanted to go for like a sporty look so i'm just wearing these big frames from urban outfitters and then my rings are from different places like this one is from a vintage store in madrid that i got last summer this carnelian don't want to give you guys a finger this carnelian like rings on my middle finger it's from etsy and this ring on my pinky is from Amazon and this ruby birthstone ring is from Etsy as well. And then the earrings I think are from Urban Outfitters. And that's the look. See you guys at the movies. Yeah. I can't. Can I have a bottle of water? Smart. And a small popcorn. Is that it for you? And these. That's all. Is that it? Pack the goods. About to go to the theater. God bless America. I don't want to come too early, but I'm sure it's still like 10 minutes. Wake up, your hands! I'm back home and I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions of Dune. I actually, I mean, I don't want to give any spoilers. So I guess I'll just say I really liked it. And that's my sink. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, I really liked it. There was bits and pieces where I felt like was a little too long like scenes were a little too long or they emphasized something too much but maybe it was all a part of the storytelling um but i will say that chani is my girl she'll do anything for paul but i just feel like she got portrayed <laughs> um but i know it's for the greater good so i'm really looking forward to when they do doom 3 whenever that may be i know these movies take forever to film and a lot of hard work so i'm thinking that i may read the books just because i want more of chani's story and maybe that'll be ruining it for when i watch the film but I think they usually hold true, at least that's what I've heard. So I definitely think I might pick up the book sometime, maybe over the summer. Um, but nonetheless, I went to the movies and I went grocery shopping like an adult um, <laughs> for the week. So I'm about to put away my groceries. And I don't think I have much else to vlog. Like I could continue the vlog into the week, but the weeks are really busy these days. So generally i don't pick up the camera but i will try to start a new vlog so i'll close it out here and i want to say thank you guys for watching and if you made it to the end of the video thanks so much for sticking around and i'll see you guys in the next video